Hello second grade, welcome to religion class. Today is Thursday, October 1st, 2020. It's the first day of October. So this week in religion, we have been talking about forgiveness. We learned what it means to sin, to make not so good choices that are hurting our friendship with God and with others. We learned that each of us have a conscience, that little voice inside of us that helps us decide between right and wrong and to make good choices. Today we are going to continue talking about forgiveness. So let us begin our religion class with prayer. And this prayer can be found on page 92 of your religion book, or you can follow along on the screen. So a prayer of action. Doing good actions is a type of prayer. When we act in good ways, we praise God. We thank God for the gift of free will. Celebrate making good choices. Pray this prayer together. Let's start with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Please pray this out loud with me. Dear God, thank you for the gift of free will. Help us use this gift to choose what is good. Help us to blank. Think of your own action and say it out loud or pray it in your head and your heart. Help us to... So help us to be kind and loving to others. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Right now, please think of someone you know who makes good choices. Think of someone who makes good choices. Choices that help other people. Why do you think this person decides to make good choices? Maybe because the person loves God and Jesus, because the person loves other people. Maybe because the good choices have good consequences, which means good things that happen when those good choices are made. Or maybe because it feels good to help other people. Today we are going to read and learn about a saint who made good choices. So please open your Blessed Are We textbook to page 90. So this is on page 90. So this person, shown right here, is Saint Paula Frazanetti. And she is a person who is now a saint who made good choices. What can you tell about St. Paula just by looking at the picture? We can tell that she lived a long time ago based on the clothing. And we can also tell that she was a religious sister because the outfit that she's wearing, she was a nun. So let's read to learn more about her. St. Paula Frazanetti. Paula was born in Italy in 1809. When she was nine years old, her mother died. Paula had, to help, Paula had to help take care of her four brothers. She could have gotten angry and been mean to them, but she loved them. She took good care of them. Because of her household chores, Paula was unable to go to school. Her brothers shared with her what they learned in school. Paula made the choice to be cheerful. She went to mass daily and prayed while she worked. When Paula grew up, she opened a school for poor girls. She later founded a religious order to educate poor children. Today, we honor her as St. Paula. Her feast day, the day we celebrate her, is June 11th. 
What good choices did St. Paula make? Take your pencil or a crayon and circle or highlight some good choices that she made. So you can pause the video to find those. One good choice was that she helped take care of her four brothers and she loved them. She also made the choice to be cheerful and happy about her life. She made the choice to go to mass and to pray. And she opened a school for poor girls. And she founded or started a religious order, so a group of people, to educate poor children. Those are all good choices that she made to help others and to show her love for people and for God. So just like St. Paula, we can make good choices. We can practice choosing to do what is right every day. So take a moment to unscramble these letters to, fit, to complete the sentence for each picture. So the first one, Joey chooses not to, what is he choosing not to do? not to fight the other child wants to fight and he's making a good choice not to tanya is happy to what is she doing tanya is happy to share Lily decides to tell the truth. So choosing to be calm and not fight, to share and to tell the truth are all good things that we can do in our lives. We're going to do the first page of the chapter review together to go over this vocabulary that we've learned about forgiveness. So we can circle the words that best complete the sentences. Number one, God gives us a blank to help us know right from wrong. Conscience, free choice, sin. He gives us a conscience to help us know right from wrong. Number two, when we do hurtful things on purpose, we forgive, love, or sin. This is when we sin. Number three, God lets us choose what to do. We call this conscience, free will, or sin. This is called free will. We can choose what to do. Number four. God wants us to be blank for our sins. Angry, happy, sorry. He wants us to be sorry for our sins, to ask forgiveness, and to make better choices. Thank you for learning with me this week about forgiveness. Um, there is a special sacrament that some of you will be receiving this year. If you aren't, you are still learning about it, and maybe in the future, your family might decide it's the right choice for you. Um, this sacrament is right there. It is called reconciliation. Go ahead and say that out loud at home. Reconciliation. This sacrament is when we talk to a priest in God and ask forgiveness for our sins, for those things that we have purposefully done wrong. So that is why we are learning about forgiveness and why we will continue to learn about forgiveness in the coming weeks. So thank you, second grade. Um, tomorrow we will be learning a new prayer of forgiveness during our Zoom meeting. So I look forward to that. Bye.